Hi everyone, my name is Ramiz and I'm going to be going through this demo of a product called Cert Deploy with you. Cert Deploy is a tool that allows you to communicate with backend Microsoft PKI to deploy certificates to non-domain machines. Currently we have completed a version for Windows XP, Vista, Windows 2003, and Windows 2008. However, there are plans to integrate this product with other platforms such as Macs, iPhones, iPads, Android, and other mobile devices. Search Deploy for Windows allows simplified certificate enrollment to non-domain joined and domain joined Windows XP and Windows Vista clients. Search Deploy leverages two new role services in Windows Server 2008 Active Directory Certificate Services that enable certificate enrollment using SCTP as a transport protocol. So now let's uh, go show you the product. First off, I want to show you that this is not part of a domain. As you can see here, it says workgroup. Um, and that is just to show you that it is not part of domain, yet we can still get a certificate for it. So we can go ahead and close that. And now there are two ways to open the program. I've created a shortcut here. But there's also, whenever you install the program, a little wizard comes down here. So we can just right click that and click run wizard. So we start off with a welcome screen, welcome to the certificate enrollment wizard, click next to continue. So we can just go ahead and click next to that. And now here it gives us the option of what we would like to do. We can either check the status of a pending request, we can make a new request, we can renew a certificate, or we can install a CA certificate chain from a file. So we're just going to stick with a make a new request for now, and we're going to click next. So here we have the uh, policy provider address. Um, here we can type in the username and password of a user. Uh, we support not only password authentication, but Kerberos and certificate authentication. But for the sake of this demo, I'm just going to show you the user authentication. And uh, this user's identity will be passed to the end system PKI for evaluation. So we're going to type Hussam's, Hussam's name. He's a domain admin and we're going to type in his password and we're going to go ahead and click next and obviously he has a lot of templates uh, if he had actually put my name we would have gotten uh, a shorter list because he does have more permissions than me uh, so as you can see the system renders the templates that the authenticated user has the right to request so now that we have the list in front of us we can pick a template uh, we're just going to go ahead with a user right now and uh, this template has been configured to automatically issue certificates to the authenticated user and pull needed information from Active Directory. And we're just going to stick with the defaults and then click next. So if you just wait a second, uh, the certificate should come up and here it is, successful certificate issued. You can view the certificate issued to Hassam Hylel, issued by, has a private key that corresponds to the certificate, you know, anything that you would normally get. Um, also, in addition to requesting user certificates, you can request the machine certificate. So I'm going to go to show you how to do that as well. Uh, you just open the program again. This is the shortcut version. Click next. We're going to make a new request again. We'll type in the same user, same password, and click next. So here I will request a certificate for a web server. Um, if I click next, it'll actually give me an error. The policy you have chosen will require that you specify the subject name. Click subject name settings to specify the subject name. So we're going to open the subject name settings. And under the common name, we're going to type in Ziva Web. Click add. And under alternative name, we're just going to type in zivaweb.ziva.us. And we're going to click add. Then we can go ahead and click OK, click Next, and just like last time, it should give us a certificate. Here you go, successful certificate issued, view certificate, issued to Ziva Web, issued by, private key, yet again, just like, ever, uh, just like usual. And um, that is basically our demo. You know, we have just created two certificates, one for a machine and one for a user, all from a machine that was not part of the domain. Thank you for watching.